Now coming to viva question regarding mandible. How will you determine the age of a person by this mandible bone? So there are three things uh, we should consider that the position of this mental foramen. This we all know this is mental foramen. In the adult it is in the middle. Middle of this upper and the lower border. Here it lies. But in uh, old age it is near to the upper border due to the falling of teeth and the erosion of uh, erosion of the sockets. Okay. It is nearer to the upper border in old age and in the newborn it is closer to the lower border. This is one thing worth mentioning and the second thing uh, this coronoid process it is somewhat broken here but coronoid process on the condyloid process both are at the same level in adult but in the newborn the coronoid process is at upper level than the condyloid process. Okay. Coronoid process is at the upper level in the newborn. Okay. Now third thing is the angle of mandible. In adult the angle of mandible is 110 to 120. In the neonet it is about 140 degree. Okay. So these three things will decide the age of a mandible. Now other question, what is the neurovascular structure is in relation with the mandible. So you have to tell that uh, here is the relation of masseteric nerve and vessels. This loses mental nerve and vessel which uh, and here is the mandibular foramen. This is mandibular foramen which loses inferior alveolar nerve and vessel which runs in this canal, mandibular canal and now coming out as mental nerve and vessel and ever going incisive nerve and vessels. Okay. And another relation is the maxillary artery. Just behind this mandibular foramen, there is relation of maxillary artery, first part of maxillary artery. Okay. And behind the third molar on the posterior uh, on the internal aspect just behind the third molar there is a relation of lingual nerve okay and on the antero inferior aspect of the ramus of mandible there is relation of tortuous facial artery facial vein and marginal mandibular branch of the facial nerve okay and also on the medial aspect of the neck of mandible there is auriculotemporal nerve. So these are the neurovascular structure in relation with the mandible. Now another thing what is structure what ligament is attached on the uh, on the ligula on the lingula of the mandibular foramen. So you have to tell it is sphenomandibular ligament. What ligament is attached at the angle of mandible it is a stylomandibular ligament. A sphenomandibular ligament is going to the styloid process of a sphenoid. And where is the stylomandibular ligament is going to the styloid process of temporal bone. Okay. Uh, the examiner will say that okay temporomandibular joint is uh, contain articular disc. Uh, can you say uh, other joint which has got articular disc? Then you have to tell. The examiner will ask you that the uh, temporomandibular joint contain articular disc. Oh, can you say another joint which has got articular disc? So you have to tell sternoclavicular joint in between the clavicular facet of the uh, manubrium sterni and the uh, and the external end of the clavicle. There is a sternoclavicular joint. There is also one articular disc. Okay. Now, this uh, they they can ask that what type of joint in between the tooth and this socket. 
so you have to take gomphosis okay uh, this what uh, I, can you tell anything about the men, this mental protuberance you have to tell mental protuberance is specific of human jaw it is only found in the human jaw so this uh, these are the commonly asked question in viva thank you